Welcome to Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn, Massachusetts. This is the final match in the Pro Series Doubles Knockout Tournament. In this match, the team of Nick Norcross and Jim Putney will be taking on John Starner and Dave Chesterko. And the uh, guys that will be starting off will be Nick Norcross on the right lane and John Starner on the left. Nick Norcross and Jim Putney qualified 16th in the five-string uh, five qualifying round. They had 12.26. John Starner and Dave Chesterko had a 12.09, which was good for 19th place. In this event, the, uh, the entire field pulled a five-string qualifying round, after which the field was cut to the top 24. bracket match play. The top eight seeds received a bye in the first round of, of match play. So both of these teams have survived four matches to arrive at the finals. John Starner and Dave Chesterkov got here by defeating Peter Pereira and John Winchell in the first round. Then Mark Strangio and Joe Smith. In the third round they beat Sean McKinley and Sean Baker, and finally in the semifinals, Steve Badney and Hawk Hallis. Meanwhile, Nick Norcross and Jim Putney got past Jonathan Boudreau and Det Klein, Peter Crawford and Mark Ritchie, Steve Reno Sr. and Stephen Reno Jr., and finally Dave Barber and Jeff Surrett. So some pretty tough competition in this tournament that these guys have managed to get by en route to the finals. And there's a nice spare by Nick Norcross in the second box. He runs down the 1, 3, 6, 10, 4 horsemen, and you'll see the ball actually comes off the wall here to get the 10 pin. That's a spare in the second box for Nick. John Starner is going to be open in the second box. He started off with a nine box, as you saw, and he'll be open in the second as he misses the four seven, but he converts it on the third ball. <coughs> so that's 10 box for John Starner. He has 19 through the second. Nick Norcross will fill that spare that he put on the board. And Nick drops eight. That gives him 28 through the second, and he's got the 6, 10, with a couple pieces of wood in front of it. Pretty, pretty good spare leave right there. And John Starner, with a very similar situation. He's got the 4, 7, and a nice piece of wood. Nick Norcross makes the spare in the third. John Starner trying to do the same thing. And he's got it. Matching spares in the third box. Nick Norcross. Misses the head pin, but gets a pretty good break. He gets a, a seven drop on the spare, leaving the one three six. John Starner with three on the spare. So in the early going right now, it's a 13-pin lead for Nick Norcross over John Starner. But it's a long way from here to, uh, to the end of the match. And John Starner misses a head pin. Manages to take out a couple pins there, but he still needs an out. Nick Norcross with a nine box. See what John Starner can do with the third ball. He'll have an eight. John has 40 through the fourth. Nick Norcross, 54. 14 pin lead.
Nick Norcross with an 8 drop. John Starner with 6, I think. That looks like the 1, 3, 6, 7. Nick Norcross with the 4, 7, 2 pinner there, and he hits the object pin, but a little bit too full. Punches the 4 off the 7. So he'll have an open. John Starner kind of does the same thing. He punches that head pin straight back, so they're going to both be open in the fifth. Nick Norcross with 10. And John Starner with 9. So we will take a look at the scoreboard and see how they stand through 5. You can see that Nick Norcross with a 64 half, John Starner with 49, it says 59, but that's 49. So it's a 15 pin lead for Nick Norcross and Jim Putney. And Jim Putney steps up on the right lane. That's lane 14 here at Lucky Strike. And Jim drops eight. He leaves the 510 with some wood that looks pretty good. Dave Chesterkov also on the head pin, a little bit full. He's got the big five, two, four, six, seven, ten. If Jim Putney hits that five pin, that wood will probably take the ten pin, and it does. I was a little unsure whether it would do it, but you'll see the replay that the wood clips the ten pin from behind. So that's a spare for Jim Putney to begin. And a great try by Dave Chesterfeld there, trying to take down the big five. And let's take a look at this in slow motion. He cuts that two pin over into the six, and nothing touches the ten pin. He really did exactly what he wanted to do, but got a tough break there with the ten pin staying up. That'll be a ten box to begin for Dave. Dave bowls out of Fico's in Franklin. And also in the, uh, he's a member of one of the teams in the Friday Night Traveling League, Pro League. Jim Putney with an eight drop. Eight on the spare, but he has a very difficult, I think he's got the six, seven, and he's got a piece of wood couple pieces of wood over toward the seven pin, but I don't think they're going to be of much help. He also has a piece of wood that's gotten loose, and Mike McIntosh goes down to remove it. Meanwhile, Dave Chesterkove with a seven drop, he's got the one, eight, and nine remaining. That's a pretty tough leave. You really have to hit the head pin full, or else hit it light and get it off the wall. And Jim Putney tried to use that wood, but uh, didn't really do much for him. And with Dave on that 189, you can see what the problem was. He hit the head pin pretty fairly high, but just not high enough to go back and, and take the eight and have the ball take the nine. So it's an open for for both guys, actually. They'll, they'll have nine boxes in the second. Jim Putney is a veteran of many years on the Candlepin circuit, as you know. He had a, a stellar record on the Channel 5 show with Don Gillis. One year he had a lengthy winning streak with a number of very high scores. So, quite a number of years ago, I don't remember exactly when, but uh, Jim made a lot of appearances on that show. And very similar leave to the one he had in the previous box. He had the 6-7. This time it's a 6-7-9. And again, a couple pieces of wood over toward the 7. But they're not looking like they're going to really do too much for him. Unless maybe he can go way left on this. I think that's what he was trying to do. But he just didn't get far enough over to hit the, uh, the cap of that wood and kick it over toward the... Six and nine. Meanwhile, Dave Chesterkov with a spare. He converts the 10 pin. 
Bear in the third. And Putney will have a 10. Jim has 37 through three. Dave Jesterkov with 29 plus the spare fill. Jim Putney with a nine drop. Again, he hits the one three, or the, rather the one two pocket. This time he leaves just the six pin. Dave Chesterkov with just four on the spare. That gives him 33 through the third. Jim Putney looking at the six pin by itself. He's all over it. That's spare in the fourth. Dave Chesterkov with a nice try on that. One, two, four, five, eight, nine combination. That's really a tough spare to take down. It'll be a nine box. Dave has 42. Jim Putney with 47. And a ball. <clears throat> Jim will add six. And Dave with nine. And he's got the six pin that Jim Putney just converted a minute ago. Jim Putney working on the diamond two, four, five, eight. Then, as Don Gillis would say, the diamond wins again. Dave with the spare in the fifth. He will sit down with 52 plus a ball. Jim Putney will. have an open in the fifth. He'll be trying to work it out for a ten. And it'll be a nine. So let's take a take a look at the scores halfway through the match. You will see that Nick Norcross and Jim Putney lead by 25 minus the fill that Dave Chesterkov will have on the spare when he comes back up. So now John Starner moves over to lane 14 and Nick Norcross on lane 13 to finish the match. John Starner with a six drop. He's got the one, two, five, and nine. Nick Norcross had a one, three pocket hit pretty light, leaving the two, four, five, seven, eight. And there is a great bid by John Starner. Trying to convert that difficult lead Nice and full on the head pin, but he's not quite able to get that. Is it the five or the nine? Anyway, it's, uh, it'll be an open. And it'll be a ten box for John Starner. And Nick Norcross will take an eight in the sixth. So that'll cut the lead to 23. And again, that's minus the, the hit for Dave Chesterko. John Starner, seven drop, two, four, five triangle. Nick Norcross had started, started out as a half Worcester, but then he also got the nine and 10 to come down. Something came out of the pit. So that's a four drop, still a difficult lead. John Starner with the spare converts the 245 triangle. Nick with a nice try on that that four drop. But it doesn't go. He's still got the six and seven left with a piece of wood. And he will take a nine box. Through seven, Nick Norcross with 81. John Starner with 69 plus the fill. So he can really tighten it up a little bit here with the with the fill, cutting it from 23, actually 22, and he's got nine, so that makes it a 13 pin difference right now. And John Starner, seven pin with a couple pieces of wood in front of it. I don't think he's gonna have too much trouble with this. Nick Norcross, meanwhile, with the diamond on the other side, three, five, six, nine. Spare for John Starner in the eighth. Actually, I think that was just a uh, 
I think it was a seven drop for Nick Norcross. He'll be. He'll have a nine box in the eighth. So John Starner can once again reduce the lead. Just three though. He misses the head pin. Took out the three, five, and nine. Nick Norcross also missed the head pin, but he got six. He's got the one, two, seven, and ten. Difficult lead, but certainly makeable and better than the one that John Starner is looking at. And John, a little bit full on the head pin, as was Nick. So they're both going to be trying to get sticks here. John Starner with a nine box in the ninth. And Nick Norcross will take an eight. So that gives John Starner actually a two pin edge over Nick Norcross. And with the fair by Dave Chesterkov, that's really making it a close match at this point. John Starner with a nine drop, leaving the four pin. Nick Norcross misses the head pin by quite a bit, but he gets a nice break there with, uh, for a nine drop. He's got just the eight pin. Some wood out in front that could be a little bit of a distraction, though. Sometimes it's hard to really ignore the wood and focus on the pin behind it. John Starner with the spare. Let's see if Nick can get by that wood or use it. Then he goes right by it and takes that eight pin. Nice shooting right there. So both guys have spares to fill in the 10th box. John Starner with 110 plus the spare fill. Nick Norcross with 108 plus the, the fill ball. John Starner with 7. That gives him a 117 game. Nick Norcross misses the head pin, but he gets some... Nice action off the sidewall, and that's an 8 drop. Nick will take a 116. So it's a close match right here. 52, 10, uh, it's actually a 9 pin lead minus the spare fill. And Dave Chesterkov punches out the half wester, so it's still a 7 pin lead. 7 pin lead for Norcross and Putney. And what a shot by Dave Chesterkov. He converts the half Worcester. And let's take a look at this. You'll see the head pin goes into the six and then bounces off the six to take out the five. That's a really crisp way to convert the half Worcester. Jim Putney. Looking at that one, two, seven, eight. Gets everything but the head pin, so he'll be open in the sixth. Just the head pin remaining. And it's going to be a nine. Jim Putney with six, uh, 71 through the sixth. Dave Chesterkove with 64 plus the fill. And he adds nine. So his he, is, he and uh, John Starner are actually leading by two. They're leading by three right now. They've taken the lead. And Dave Chesterkov looking at just the six pin. So he could. And a strike by Jim Putney. This is the way a, a veteran answers a challenge. He doesn't back down at all. One, two pocket, nice medium mixer. 10 pins on the deck for Jim Putney going to put some pressure on Dave Chesterkov to convert this six pin. And he just goes by it. So Dave will be open in the seventh. And Dave will have a nine box. 82 through seven. Jim Putney has 81 plus the strike bill. So Jim Putney 
and Nick Norcross will take the lead with this strike bill. And that is a strike by Dave Chesterco. He sure regrets missing the six pin now, but in any case, that is a timely strike. Nice and full in the one two pocket. And you can see that uh, five pin goes, tips over into the six, which takes out the ten. So that's a strike in the eighth for Dave. Jim Putney misses the head pin, but drops eight. He's got a two pinner. The one and three. Looking for another spare. But that does give him and Nick Norcross the lead. Seven. He's still filling that strike in the seventh. And he fills it with ten. So through seven, 91 to 82. And minus the one pin. So it's an eight pin lead. 8-pin lead for Norcross and Putney. Chesterco filling the strike and Putney filling the spare. And Dave has almost an identical hit to the uh, the one he just had that carried the strike. But I think it was just a little bit fuller on the head pin this time. And he's left with 5, 6, 10. No wood. Very, very difficult lead. Jim Putney smashes the 1-2 pocket, but he doesn't have much to look at there. Five, seven, and nine. But that is a seven bill on the spare. Close match, the bill is very important. Every pin is extremely important. Dave Chester Cove with an eight on the strike. <coughs> so he will be open in the ninth. As will Jim Putney, unless he can make a phenomenal shot here on the five, seven, nine, no wood. Let's see what he can do. And he was trying to cut that five over into the seven, but he didn't quite catch the five pin. Dave Chesterkov will take an eight. He has one oh eight through nine. Jim Putney trying to check every stick. And great shot by Jim Putney for the 10 box. He converts that 5-7. Let's take a look at this. He clips that 5 pin, sends it over into the 7. So that's a, that gives his uh, Nick Norcross and Jim Putney a 9 pin lead with one box to go. Obviously imperative that Dave Chesterko put a mark on the board here in the last box. And seven, eight, nine. Dave Chesterko with a nine drop. He's got the six pin with a plank in front of it. Great chance to put that spare on the board. Jim Putney, one two pocket hit, a little bit light. He's got the three, five, six triangle on the right side. He could pretty much put the match away by converting that. Dave Chesterkov does his job with the spare. So even if Jim doesn't convert this triangle, Dave is going to need a big fill on the last ball. But let's see if Jim Putney can convert this triangle. Not quite. He just gets the six pin. So he has the three and five remaining. He wants to force Dave Chesterkov to get as big a fill as possible. Jim really wants to convert these last two sticks. And he does. So with one ball to go, Dave Chesterkov needs nine to tie, ten to win on this spare. Can't ask for a closer finish than this. Nine to tie, ten to win. Wow, Dave Chesterkov with a nice ball. He did what he had to do. He hit the head pin, but got too much of it and punched through the middle for five. So Nick Norcross and Jim Putney will win this Pro Series Doubles Knockout Tournament over 
John Starner and Dave Chesterton. Let's look at the final score. You can see Nick Norcross and Jim Putney win the tournament with 244 to John Starner and Dave Chesterkov, 240.